I'm leaving Puerto Barrio. And Puerto Barrio, just so you know, is on the Magdalena River. I'll show you some of that as I drive out. We're gonna hop on the bike now and try to get out of the zone of the Air Force so I can fly freely without any issues. degrees out here. It's hot. The great balance machine. Here we go. Well, this is it. This is the town of Puerto Barrio. Do I dare try this side? Yes. Oh, shoot. Holy cow, that was, oh God, that could have ended in disaster. Anyway, here's the Magdalena. I am like crazy stressed. You, you don't know how hard it is to balance these things and you think, uh, this is a wide path. It's not, considering the trailer. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, I chose the wrong way. Oh, I chose the wrong, okay, Chris, remember that. Do not choose narrow paths. <sighs> Holy crap, that was tough. Wow, I almost ended up in that, <laughs> in the uh, railroad tracks there. That would have been horrible. There's no way I could have <laughs> There's no way I could have kept it from not being up right there. It would have toppled over for sure. It definitely would have toppled over. Oh, wow. Gosh, my heart is beating so fast. That was scary. That was, that was crazy scary. Man, what a stupid decision. I'm glad it worked out. Wow. Wow. still need to stick to the asphalt roads because my skills on being able to control this thing are definitely not ready for the dirt. And I'm, uh, you know, I'll, I'll brag on myself a little bit. I'm actually really good on the dirt with the dirt bike. I grew up with dirt bikes, so. But with the trailer, wow, different story. Totally different story. Oh, record speed. I hit 42 miles an hour. Nice. You know, all in all, I'm getting frustrated with this trip, but you know what? If, uh, 
What's this lady wanting? That's weird. Okay. All in all, I'm getting frustrated with this trip, but I'm... I know the flights will come. I know they will. I just... I just have to keep plugging at it. You know, a lot of doubt crept in on, you know, whether or not this trailer was even viable. And, you know, whether I can find a place to fly, I know I will. You know, I know this is the right thing to do. It's just, it's just tough. No one's done this before. And, you know, I think I would be naive if I thought this whole trip and this whole idea was going to be easy. Obviously, it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to keep plugging away. I want to show you the world. I really want to show you the world from a totally different perspective. And I think I can. I just got to keep plugging away. I just got to keep trying. Oh, 45 miles an hour. I am cooking now. Oddly, the trailer is more stable the faster I go. Well, I guess not oddly. It just takes a while for that wheel to spin up centrifugal force. I don't want to push it, though, because things go crazy at higher speeds. All of these little fincas here, these little farms, keeps the community alive. Oh, 47. New world record. Hey, that's the trailer I need. Right there. That's the trailer I need. A little big. Maybe not quite that big. Ugh. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, I am stuck with the balance mobile. Well, we are almost to the destination, and in route, I found a few places I might be able to fly. It means I have to hop a fence and shoo away some cows to take off. It might be my only option. About 15 minutes back, I found a ranch that had fairly flat land, and some of the cows uh, were kind of far from the field I was looking at, so... I'm hoping that's not our only option, but it might be. I'm hoping up here we can actually find a, a better place to, to fly, but we're starting to get into some hilly areas and very wooded areas as well, which of course doesn't really lend itself to taking off and landing, so I might have to turn around. I don't know yet. But as wooded as this is, it sure is beautiful. All right, except for that power line, it does have somewhat of a potential. All right, let's look at this area here. There we go, right up there. Right up there, I see some, well, maybe I did. I don't know, there's some flat to that hill up there. I might be able to fly off that. Or the gas station. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Wait a second, I could take off from this gas station if the wind is going this way. Oh, maybe even this way. Okay. Remember the gas station. Oh, look at this. 
Also some flat area. All right. All right, there's some potential here. If I've got nothing else, I, uh, I know I can go try to fly out from the gas station. Yeah, nothing here. This is all wooded area. Looks like it's pretty to fly over, but definitely can't take off and land there. So far, the gas station presents the best place to take off from. Here, except for the power lines. As long as the wind is going the right way. Okay, where I mapped us to is right up here about 200 meters. Turn right, then your destination will be on the left. Okay, somewhere up here. Your destination is on the left. Well... This seems to be the place. I'm gonna find out if the bike does not tip over. On the internet, I found a wonderful hotel, but what I didn't know is that the hotel was still under construction. But the advantage of that was that I was their only guest, which was nice because I had the entire hotel to myself. But looking around, I couldn't find a place to fly from the hotel, so I decided that it was best to go back to the gas station I had seen earlier. Well, the gas station it is. I went to the hotel, but they really didn't have a good place to fly from. So I met these two welder guys here at the gas station and they said it was totally cool to fly from here. So I don't have the longest runway, but, and I have zero wind, zero. So I'm gonna have to run for a bit, but uh, boy, I'm glad I brought that wing that I did, that APCO F3 because I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that I needed a wing that could get off the ground easy uh, in, nil in, in nil wind launches. And so that's exactly what I'm looking at today. All right, so I'm gonna finish putting the paramotor together and I will see you in the air. Gasolina. No mas.
All right, in the weirdest twist of fate, so I was flying out of this gas station today. You probably can't see it because it's very dark, but I was flying out of this gas station today and it just so happens that this gas station also has a welding shop. Well, the owner of the hotel and the gas station and the welding shop offered to fix my trailer so I have two wheels. So not only did he ask me to take a selfie while I was up in the air to show him his land, but I'm gonna take the drone up to the tomorrow to also give him a better view. And uh, he gave me a room for the night to store all, all my gear. And they're actually gonna fix my trailer and make it two wheels. I'm telling you, the nicest people in the world are just everywhere, everywhere. In the middle of nowhere, Colombia, I find some guys that uh, just happen to be good welders and just happen to want to help me out and fix my trailer for me. So very cool. And they said, look, they're only going to charge me for parts, but I, I can't let them just do that. But amazing, amazing, amazing people that you meet in the middle of nowhere. Una chumacera, ¿eh? Oh, oh, ya eso, eso cae.